Got some gameplay going. Looks good. It's not in a windowed mode or anything weird. Uh, hi everybody, Final Fantasy time. Let's get right into it. There's our party. The adventures of level 19, Scott, John, Ben, Bo. Let's go. Uh, for anybody who missed where we're at, uh, last time we were given a quest to wake up an elf prince and save the kingdom from a dark elf. And we also had to rescue a crown for a king. But it turned out that king was the Dark Elf, and we helped him. We didn't mean to. But we defeated him, and we got a Crystal Eye. We took that Crystal Eye back to Matoya, who could now see. Gave us a potion. We woke up the prince. He gave us a Mystic Key. And now we're going to go and open a bunch of doors with the Mystic Key. Now, we've already done the dungeon, which is good. But, uh... There are other Mystic Key doors to open, and we got to get to them, including some in uh, this castle and the original castle, and maybe other spots that I forgot. Look at this. Mithril Hammer, 800 gil, 700 gil, bronze gloves. What a day. What a day. Okay, uh, the Mithril Hammer's probably going to be, yeah, we're going to give that to Ben. Uh, that's definitely going to be a Ben thing. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we're going to give Scott those bronze gloves. That's good. Rusty Nails, good morning. Does Scott have face maces? Uh, he's using a sword right now, but I can guarantee you it has his face on it. Uh, no VOD on that session. You know what? I was going to upload the VOD and all that today, and instead of doing work on uploading the VODs, uh, I decided to stream more. So when this stream ends, I'm going to upload the VODs from yesterday and today. So they will be on both YouTube and Twitch. But the one from Twitch, like, should be in the past videos. If you really wanted to go back and see it. But uh, yes, we will have uh, we will have both. Okay. Oh, what what are you doing out here? Yeah, that's what I thought. Elf. Uh, was that it for doors? I remembered that one, but I think that might be it for this castle. But then I think the original castle the. Cornelia one also had a mystic lock business. Yeah, I'll try and get better about uploading those VODs. Um, they are always under past broadcasts if you ever want to go that route. But I know a lot of people want to watch on YouTube and stuff like that. So I will try and get a little more diligent about uploading it quickly. Oh man, look at that hammer. Ben's a powerhouse now. We just got powerhouses on this team. Okay, let's get on our boat. We don't even have to worry. We just fight now. Because we're so strong. We got these new items. We're just so good. Kill sharks. Kill Sahagin. Kill big eyes. Doesn't even matter. Just get him. Look at that, right up to the castle. 
All right, so somewhere in this castle was a, another locked room, like the other one. We just gotta find it. Uh, who's this old man? A time has come to use the key to open the doors. The equipment within will surely help you. He's like basically encouraging me to rob the castle. Mithril knife. Oh, a saber. Cottage. That's all good. The treasure room has been secured with the mystic key. Yeah, I got the mystic key, buddy. Nitro powder. Okay. Okay, now I have a rough idea of where we're going to be going next. Tent. Iron armor. Okay, so let's do some more equipping. So, none of those are upgrades here. Uh, oh, he's already got iron armor on. Okay, so Scott's pretty good. None of those are real upgrades for John either. Yeah, nothing there. Yeah, no upgrades there. But let's check bow, because this mithril knife, yep, that's an upgrade. Okay. We're good. We looted some items. I feel very good about it. <laughs> Working from work. That seems almost like a Freudian slip. Uh. Oh. Oh, she did kiss me. I got a kiss. Guys, John got kissed. Like. It's not an RPG till our hero gets a kiss. Alright, everybody's happy. Alright. Uh. Let's see here. What's our map view? Because there was something that... I remember looking at the map yesterday. I don't remember what I did. To... I don't remember what button it was. There it is. Okay. Toys Cave. Provaca. Elfin Castle. Western Keep. Marsh Cave, Mount Duragar. Where was the dwarf stuff? I think that might have been the dwarf stuff. Uh, well, regardless, I'm sleeping in the cheap end. Did I check the Western Keep? No, that's the place I forgot to look. So I'm gonna I'm gonna head back there. I think I just killed the Dark Elf, got excited, and peaced out. Look at this party just eating through people here. So good.
Yeah, Core, Core as usual goes places. Okay, this is a lot of guys. Maybe it's maybe it's time to shorten this fight a little bit. Oh no, ambushed. Yeah, John is really strong. I mean, he was our main character and he let everybody else feel like they were contributing for a while, but uh, you know, he's got to he's got to come through and just prove that okay, John, you could have done a little better there. Thunder not good on wolves as a matter of fact. I really like the sound effect for the for the thunder because uh, it sounds like Chrono Trigger. If there's one thing I know that's going to happen a lot as we play these games, you're going to hear a lot of talk about Chrono Trigger. Yeah, we got to remind everybody everybody has value. You know, we don't want Ben to feel like he's just here to cast healing magic. We don't want Scott to feel like he's just here to get punched. Like, everybody needs to feel like they contribute. And I feel like that's what these fights are all about, is let everybody hit. Let everybody try and kill a wolf. It's not about who kills the most wolves. It's just about, you know, us all being together as a team. Okay, so I think there might have been a hidden chest here as well that I missed. Yes. There it is. Oh, hell! It's full of monsters! You know, not the strongest monsters in the world. That fire effect's very good. Ooh, a falchion. Oh no, more monsters. Let's keep it up, everybody. Oh, jeez. I got put to sleep by mummies. Power staff. Monsters! Oh, Ben's asleep. Steel gloves. Well, sure. Let's equip Scott with uh, steel gloves now. Okay. Well, that was pretty good. I'm glad we came back and did that. Not all those items were useful. Uh, are gonna be used, but um, it's good to get. And. Now we uh, now we know where we're supposed to go. We gotta go do dwarf stuff. But we'll go sleep in Elf Town first.
Oh no, ambushed. We're in a, you know, we're a veteran party. How does this happen? Oh, John must have gotten some good HP rolls, or Ben got bad ones, but I think this is the first time all game that John's HP has been higher than Ben's. I want to stay in your overpriced elf inn. Uh, how am I running? Uh, if you hold B, it works in towns. You can speed up your little run animation. Really book it. It works in a lot of places. Doesn't work on the overworld map, but... Uh... Uh, am I playing when the kid is sleeping, or am I able to book time away? My wife now works from home, um, so she can keep an eye on the baby. So she, uh, she kind of works at the computer, baby sits next to her, lets her know if he needs anything, and I get to, I get to stream. So it's, uh, works out pretty nicely. And then if she has a meeting or anything she has to do, I take over. Then she gets to be in the big call center, which is a desk chair, you know. These pirates are great. They kind of look more like Vikings than pirates, but I, I dig it either way. Yeah, they clearly work out. Well, the other thing that's happened and part of the reason why, you know, for one, she wasn't working from home. And then the, the other element of that was the kids were on summer vacation and now they're back at school. So there's just a lot less chaos in the house. It's a little more manageable to just handle the baby during this time of the day. Because the baby, you know, baby might be up and fussy, but usually in about two hours from when he's up, he's going to be taking a nap for a while, so you get lots of little breaks. Alright. Lally Ho! That's my favorite dwarf. Okay, we already robbed that room. Okay, they're still telling me all the same stuff. Let's talk to this guy. Oh yeah, he's looking for adamantite. We don't have that yet, so... But we did get the nitro that the other dwarf was looking for. He was down here, I believe. Nitro powder! The explosive force in this powder will hay me canal open in no time flat. I owe ya, bairns! Here we go. Yeah, I don't know why I picked that voice. No, we can blast this rock to smithereens. What are you standing around for? That powder set to blow. Unless you plan going with it, you'd best get out while you still can. Well, how much is it going to explode? This seems like quite an evacuation here. Look at that. Jeez. This dwarf has reformed continents. He's created an island. I 
can't he wait to see what lies out there beyond that canal? It didn't do anything over here, right? No. Okay. So we've achieved what we set out to do. Got nothing. Another good level up from John. He's getting more HP, which is good because he's getting hit more. Now look, we can sail outside here. I feel like we got a whole whole world opened up to us now. Yeah, everything, nothing likes you in this game. Sharks literally put themselves on your boat to fight you. Like, that's how much sharks hate you. <laughs> yeah, I have. They should all be King Shark. I will take uh, Suicide Squad King Shark. I will also take uh, Harley Quinn King Shark. Both are completely acceptable to me because both are wonderful. Can you imagine if uh, going on a cruise was like this? All right, look, we got a quick little shortcut to rest up in Elfheim. I like it. I, uh, I'm not 100% sure where I have to go now. Like a lot of area has opened up by being able to travel on the other side of the continents now. And I might be going the wrong way. I might be going the right way. There's a, there's a lot to see, a lot to check out here. A lot of battles to be had. Can't go in there. Yeah, street shark, street sharks, uh, definitely chasing that Ninja Turtle money. They were after it. I liked the look of them, but like, I feel like street sharks is the uh, evidence that. Making something cooler doesn't mean it's better. Because, like, Street Sharks definitely are, like, a cooler design than Ninja Turtles. But ultimately, like, the charm and appeal of Ninja Turtles, they're plenty cool. I mean, Michelangelo is a party dude. Raphael, he's cool but rude. It's right in his description. He's cool. We know he's cool. Alright, we found land. Let's go check it out. 
Holy hell. It's a lot of... I was just thinking, I wonder what kind of challenges await us on this new continent. And, uh... The answer is a lot of stuff. They really threw us in the deep end right away. There's a lot of XP though. Was it, that was, yes. But I'm gonna save because I can't do that every fight, and if that's what the fights here are gonna be, we might be in trouble. Oh, look, there's a little town. We might be okay. She Hulk! Oh, I know, it's trolls. Crescent Lake. Oh boy, now we're gonna have to pay for Crescent Lake prices. 200 gil per night? It's twice as expensive to stay at Crescent Lake than it was Elfheim. And let me tell you, getting to Crescent Lake is a real pain in the ass. Right. How are we doing on items? Welcome! Uh, okay, we can always use more potions, right? Like, that's just important. We should probably invest in some more of those as well. Uh, ethers are good. Phoenix Downs are good. Antidotes, you know what? Antidotes are cheap. Let's just, let's just do it. Cures ailments except stone and knockout. It's very expensive, but, you know, as an emergency, I think that's probably good to have. Alright, let's check out Armor Town. Welcome! Ooh, Mithril Mail! I got Mithril! Mithril. Yeah, we need that. Yeah, we need all this. Yeah. That's, this is... Optimal. We need all that stuff. Optimal. 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 No, don't do the power staff. Do the mithril knife. Okay, let's sell. Okay, we sell the clothes, sell the chainmail, hammer. We can't sell that. That's fine, I guess. Sell the broadsword. Sell our battle axe, sell the iron armor, and the knife, and the dagger. Get rid of that. Let's get rid of all this stuff. All this stuff we don't need. Okay, that's great. All right, you know what? We I feel equipped. Oh, who's this over by the tombstone? Zzz, he says. Oh, that's an upgrade for both of them. Man, we sure didn't use those unique, cool weapons for a long time. All right, well, we'll buy one of those, and we'll buy one of those. Cure stone. 
Oh, transports the party out of dungeons. That's good. Raises the party's defense, raises the party's evasion. Well, these are all good. Oh, I'm broke now. <laughs> these were expensive. Shit. Instantly kills one enemy. I'm sure that's gonna work on like major bosses and stuff Okay, we can't afford anything now Well, there's a weird summoning of old men over there. I don't know if oh, I don't know if I trust that My husband is always traveling, and the little time he is home, he sleeps all day. I think he needs to get his priorities straight. It's a gravestone. It's gravestone. It's gravestone. It's gravestone. It's gravestone. Guys, it's gravestone. You know, don't mess with pitchforks, man. Pitchforks are... Uh, serious business. You know, that's... That's what killed Geralt of Rivia. Oh, look at this guy. This guy is trouble. I'm Lucan. I see a crystal of wrath, a dim light guided by destiny about which our entire future revolves. Twelve sages are we, guided to this land by stars and prophecy. Four great crystals exist in this world. The light that once shone within them is now lost. The four fiends of chaos block the power of the crystals, claiming it as their own. Fire, earth, water, wind, heart. These are the four forces that comprise our world. The source of the four forces are the altars scattered throughout the world. Defeat the fiends that have taken root there and lift up the crystal you carry to the altar. The crystal should regain its brilliance. The four fiends plot to rule the world, both past and present. The fiend of wind appeared 400 years ago, followed 200 years later by the fiend of water. Together they laid waste to the civilization in the north. The fiend of earth rots the land. The fiend of fire passes. All is engulfed in flame. When all four crystals shine once more, return here. All will be revealed. Bring the light of the four crystals to us, warriors of light. Only you can do this. Power must be directed towards its proper end. 400 years ago it was wind, 200 years ago it was water, then came earth and fire. The four forces that make up the world. Yeah, that's what a cool group of people to hang out with. Okay. Well, I think we've gotten about all we're going to get out of Crescent Town. Uh, we do need money, though, because... Jeez. These Minotaurs hit pretty hard. But they give a lot of XP. There's a lot of XP to be gained right now. This is good. I do wish they'd stop hitting uh, John, though. It's a little uncalled for how much they're focusing on that poor guy. Oh, hell. Onkegs. These guys seem pretty strong to being hit. Uh, 
let's let's hit him with a little fire. And you know what? While we're here, you know, why don't you heal John? And uh, I don't know. Try hitting him with a blizzard or something. Yeah, there's a lot of legs. You know, magic didn't seem to do a lot either. Yeah, I don't know. Just attack them. These things just seem strong, I guess, is the ultimate issue here. Oh my gosh! Look at that XP! Hold on, we can fight more of those. That would be fine. Uh, we should heal up John, though, because he, he does get hurt. There we go. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty good place to, to do some leveling. They don't hit that hard. Oh, they do poison though, that's a problem. Well, I think we do one more walk to Crescent Town for the XP. Uh, because look at that. That's so much. That's just a lot of XP. And, uh, then that'll let us sleep. And maybe we'll have enough money when we get there to buy another spell or two. I have a feeling this isn't where I'm supposed to be right now because nobody really gave me anything else to do. They were just sort of like, hey, you know, get crystals. My pattern in RPGs is to grind around town until I can buy everything I want, then I know I can move on safely. That's a good idea. That's smart. How are we doing on money? I, like, it feels like I have a lot, but then I buy something and I feel like it all goes away. Nobody can cast exit? Who learns that spell? Yeah, all the money's gone now. Alright, well, we've learned the, um, we've learned the white magic that I want to learn. So I feel like now we should... Yeah, but the white mage and the red couldn't learn it. Oh, look at this guy. I mean, he was super weak, but he looked super cool. Oh, the classes get upgraded at some point in the game. Is it story-based or is it level-based? That's really cool, though. I'm looking forward to that. Story-based. Okay. Well, maybe we'll get the Black Mage spells I want to get that I can learn. And then we'll, um... We'll leave and we'll progress the story a little bit more and figure out where we need to get, go.
These bugs suck, but they give such good XP. Oh, I'm at this town early. Well, that makes me feel like maybe I'm overleveled for where I'm supposed to be, because this doesn't seem that hard, honestly. I mean, I'm just kind of hitting them. And I'm doing fine. I have no problem with being overleveled, though. Never bugs me. Ugh, look at those level ups. It's so good. Oops, hold on. Alright, well here's what we'll do. Let's uh, take one more sleep, let's check out the magic shop, and then we'll go back to the boat and we'll see where we're supposed to go. Okay, we can't afford anything. But looks like... Okay. Alright, let's just go. Let's just go. We're good. Go back to the boat. Am I going the wrong way by going this way? Like, am I going to go all around the continent and basically be completely wrong going the way I'm going? Because I'm assuming getting to this town early... Like, I can't imagine this is where I'm supposed to be. I'm so worried. I feel like I'm gonna- oh no, ghasts I fought before, they're easy. You wanna go due west of the dwarf cave? Okay, so I'm in the wrong spot. Okay. That's good to know. Alright, we got a lot of sailing ahead of us because we went the wrong way.
I love the sheer number of enemies that they throw at you in this game. That's the thing that maybe seems the most ridiculous about all of it. You won't be able to upgrade the classes until you get the airship, so it'll be a bit. Okay. Yeah, I have no idea when that's gonna happen, so... We'll just be happy with uh, having bought a bunch of stuff, uh, OP stuff, in a town. I'm a big fan of the random encounters in Final Fantasy games, at least for the first three hours or so. Uh, hey, I was wondering if you think the price of these remasters is onerous on mobile considering how easy it is to use an emulator. Um... I don't really speak to mobile because I don't buy any mobile games. Uh, I will tell you, I don't. I don't think so. Like uh, the amount of effort that is in this game. Like I don't know how hard it was to put this together the way they did, but I will tell you, as somebody who has played like the original and the PSP, you know, quote unquote remake of it, and seen the mobile versions of the game that they put out uh like the original not th not the new pixel perfect remasters but the original mobile content that they were putting out like this is what you want it sounds great it looks great they've done such a good job um with kind of matching it up with what you expect it to look like uh but still updating it like i i it's hard for me to say because I didn't buy them a la carte. I bought, like, all of the games together, and I I don't think it was... I think it was fine. Like, I'm I'm fine with what I've spent on it, I guess. Look at this little town. Oh, jeez. This town sucks. Like, yes, if you don't want to spend the money and you're happy to use an emulator, like, use an emulator. Like... It's one of the things that's the hardest to talk about, and it's it's one that I always have an issue with on core, is how do you how do you say something's worth the price? Because there's nothing more subjective than how much something costs. You know, for me right now, something that costs fifteen dollars is a bit of a a bit of a commitment that I have to like think about. Will I be able to make money off of doing something with this? You know, can I justify it? For other people, like 15 bucks, like, oh my gosh, they'd tell you, oh, it's 15 bucks, it's on sale. Like, people's situations are just going to be universally different from just a logistical standpoint, but also from a standpoint of, like, value. Like, to me, the effort and time that was put into this makes it worth it. But if you're somebody that looks at this and goes, well, I don't think that this looks that much better than anything else that I've seen in any of these games, uh, you know, I might as well just use an emulator. Well, then it is not going to be a value proposition for you. So... I think that's where my issue with ever talking about price and value comes in, is it's something that's just completely subjective to the person. The best thing you can do is look at it and go, do I want to spend my money on that? <laughs> oh. The earth is decaying, and it's all the doing of the vampire that lives in the cavern of earth. Man, I hate when vampires show up and ruin the earth. Uh, 
Uh, I think I got the whole series on sale. I think it had an initial sale price. It wasn't much off, um, but it was discounted slightly, and I bought all of them. And yeah, I think it was slightly more than the cost of a full game. But, like, when you consider how much gameplay is in Final Fantasy, like, to me, I didn't think it was that crazy. Like, the thing that people have said the most to me when I said, like, I'm going to stream all the Final Fantasy games is, that's going to take you forever. Uh, well, then I guess it's money well spent because I got content for, for a good long time. You know? But again, that's me. If you're not going to play them, if you just want it for a novelty, like $80, that's a lot of money to spend on just going, haha, I got Final Fantasy. Kiraga, restore a lot of HP to one ally. Okay, well, that's a good spell for everybody. Okay, we're... We're broke again. Hialara! Restore HP to the entire party. These are all good spells. This is a good spell town. For as crappy as the town. I'm just a farmer. Watts is my name. Hey, it's Watts. I've come all the way from Dur Durgar to find out the spring hide of the Earth's decay. Uh, so everybody's sad. <laughs> Did she just say shop at my father's shop? Okay. Alright, well, you know, we're broke. It sounds like there's a vampire problem. But look how strong we are. Like, I'm not worried about what's... Like, we could beat a vampire. This is a party that could definitely kill a vampire. I mean, we have to find the vampire first, but we could definitely kill a vampire. Okay, there's the cave. Let's check out the cave. Giant's cave. Oh. There's monsters in this cave. Man, did Ben pass John on HP again? This is unacceptable. You shall not pass! Why? Is that it? That's the whole point of the caves? To tell me that I don't get to pass? Stab him! Just stab him! Oh man, the Hulk and his bodyguard showed up. His bodyguard sucked. Hulk died quick. Alright, I found another cave. It's fine. Boob spiders! We should probably save, huh? Okay, let's do it. 
Just in case that vampire sneaks up on us. Okay. Uh, this seems like the kind of place you'd leave and you'd go outside and when you talked and you bit down with your teeth, it would crunch. You know what I'm talking about? Has anybody, has anybody ever had that? Where you bit down and you crunched? Sweet. Found a treasure chest right away. MONSTERS! Just stab it. That's just one thing. That's killable. That's super killable. Look at all the XP! And Gil! We're gonna need that, because we gotta buy spells. These towns have stopped joking around. This is so many spiders. Just kill the spiders. Just kill them. I know we're gonna get poisoned, it's fine. I bought the antidotes, it's fine. Uh, yeah, you can sprint inside the dungeons too. <laughs> Okay. Wow. Look at this group. Uh, alright. Let's magic them. Let's thunder all of them. And let's attack him. And let's, let's fire all of them. Oh man, maybe these are weak. Maybe I didn't need to do that. Yeah, burn them. Burn them. Electrocute them. Okay, that didn't do a whole lot. Everybody's on the cusp of leveling. It feels real good. Hi. Okay, we're just gonna attack. None of these guys were so impressive that we can't just attack them. level ups. Look at it. Look at it. You love to see it. Uh, okay. Let's keep going. Okay, nothing down there except a, except a fight. Yeah, the XP is really good. Just need the money too, because uh, they're charging a lot for stuff now. Like you can watch inflation happen in real time. Uh, I don't think there was a map or there might have been a way to do the map. I don't exactly remember. Monsters! Why? It's another one of these things. This thing gave really good XP, too. Oh, for a potion. <laughs> I'm sure the dirt poor town will pay you well for killing a vampire, yeah. Nothing says you're gonna be rewarded well for this quest than, like, a town on its last legs. Please, hero, we can't afford anything. Save us. Are you gonna make it worth my while? Um, yes. 
We will lavish you with praise. Riches of praise. <laughs> we'll retweet you and give you lots of exposure. Uh huh. They'll they'll get an artist on Twitter to paint a mural thanking you. That's free, right? Bunch of gill monsters. So I did a piece of art once for somebody, I won't say who, it's not shame anybody, but they they really liked an image I had put up as kind of like a doodle one time and they were like, hey I want to make this as a card for my husband, I think he'll really like it, and can you, can you do it for me and all of that, and I said sure, and they said how much do you want for it, and I'm really not good at valuing my own art, and uh, so I, I came up with an amount, and they were like, that's that's fine, that's more than fair. And I sent it to them, and they never paid me for it. Um, and they just kind of ghosted me afterwards. It was like, oh yeah, we'll figure it out, and, you know, we'll... Uh, you know, oh, we'll talk about it, we'll figure it out, and they just disappeared. Um, and it was kind of like a rough rough lesson early on about how people handle doing art online and commissions and all of that. But the thing that makes me so happy is uh, my wife wanted to start selling uh, cards, greeting cards on her Etsy shop. And uh, she wanted me to, or she asked me if I had any art that she could use to just throw on some cards and stuff. And she saw that piece of art and she was like, oh, this is great. Can I use this? And I was like, yeah, somebody commissioned it and never paid me for it. So I certainly don't mind it getting used other places. And uh, she has sold a bunch of that card. So I didn't get paid in the moment, but I eventually got paid. It all worked out. You know, what's up with these bats besides just being in my way? Man, there's a guy right there. Get him. Stab him with your little knife. Gil. Leather shield. 5,000 gil. Look at that chest, everybody. Let's just optimal everybody real quick. Okay, everybody's good. Let's make sure. Dope John, and while we're here, why don't we uh, why don't we do some magic? Why don't we uh, do a little Cura game here? There we go. Just get everybody lifted up a little bit, feeling a little better about life.
Oh man, more poison. Poison is just not a joke in this game. You get poisoned a lot. It's not easy to cure either, like... It's a spell or an antidote, that's it. Petrified becomes a real pain in the patui either later as well. All right. Well, we have a golden. Oh wait, that's stone, right? The coral sword. Coral. Coral. It's not as good. It's not as good. A tent. Okay, so yeah, we have some gold needles, so we'll... It's really expensive though, so I think that's gonna be another thing we're gonna have to save up for, but I think that's also one of the spells that can be learned in that town. So we'll have to commit to that idea soon. Kiki! Okay, I don't know how much I've fully explored, but the way to move forward is down. So I think we go down. Oh no, cockatrice! Sleeping bag. However many golden needles I have, it's probably not enough. Probably, because I think right now I've got one. But I don't know if we're up to things that can stone me yet. At least it hasn't happened yet. Unless that's this vampire's master plan and ability. Hey, you know what? Stop putting people to sleep, mummies. Shit, what a bunch of wolves. You know what guys, we gotta just we gotta just deal with these wolves. One of them left, he knew he was gonna get burned. He knew it was gonna be a bad day to be a wolf. Okay, I can't go that way. Lead soup, thank you for the sub. That's awesome. I greatly appreciate it. Monsters! 
Ambushed? How can we be ambushed? I knew I was opening a chest, and most of the time it has monsters in it. Hey, we got another gold needle. All right, it's time to really, we gotta, we gotta do right by our people here. Let's, uh, let's hit him with the high potions. And then let's hit him with the regular potions. Jeez, Scott's got a lot of HP. Jeez. Bo, stabbing birds, man. First time catching you live. How far into Final Fantasy 1 are we? Uh, we are on our first... Uh, what is it? Our first... The crystal dungeon? The, the stone temple? We have to kill a vampire. I think he might be in here. Nope, just a treasure chest. Ooh, full of money. We need that. Get out of the way, bat. Oh man, now we got three Incredible Hulks and one not Incredible Hulk. One subpar Hulk. The game looks great. It does. I mean, it's a really neat way they did the graphical overhaul of it. Like, the, the retro but modern and looks great on, like, a 4K display is... It's really something else. I want to see more old school games do this. I can't tell you how many games I would rebuy if they all got this level of treatment. It would be a lot. A credible Hulk? <laughs> yeah. The kind of Hulk you gotta listen to. Are these all just Kiki bats? Yeah, they all just say Kiki. I don't know, guys. This is a lot of wolves. I kind of think there's only one solution to this many wolves. And it's, it's definitely fire. Okay, nothing down that way. Okay, we have a door here, and we got a door down, so let's check out this door first. Tack, 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 tack. Six is my favorite. Interested to see what they do with it. Uh, me too. I, you know, as the graphics and all of that evolve, I'm really curious to see how it looks, what people think of it. Oh, there were monsters in this chest too. Um... You know, I think for 1, 2, and 3, it's going to be obviously very strong, good upgrades uh, like this. Uh, 4, 5, and 6, you know, we'll see. It definitely looks better than all those mobile versions. Like, I, I've wanted to do a Final Fantasy set of streams like this for a long time, and I hated the way the mobile ones looked so much that I couldn't bring myself to do it. Oh, guys, this is a blue bat. I think this might be our vampire. We're going to cheese it a little, because we're going to quick save. You know, let's, uh, let's take a moment to potion up. Potion. 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 Potion, why not? Just potion it. All things in this world are destined to end in death. The seal cannot be broken, and so the earth shall rot. Oh shit, it was a vampire! You cannot alter destiny. 
Mere mortals cannot kill the undying. Look at this vampire. All right, what have we got? What have we got? Wait, wait. Uh, haste. Let's haste Scott, because then he can just, you know, stab the shit out of it. And uh, let's cure silence, heal, raise evasion, cures darkness. Uh, let's, you know, let's invis them. And raise one ally's attack. Let's do that to Scott. Uh, did they have a uh, cure to paralysis? No. We do through items, I believe, though. Hmm. Maybe I don't. Well, that's fine. Do this. And let's do... Uh, yeah, vampires don't like fire, so let's cast fire on them. Oh. He's already dead. Guys, he's already dead. <laughs> he's gone. I obtained the star ruby. What? What is it? What is the star ruby? An enormous red jewel, that's exciting. It's always mind flares, every time mind flares start showing up. A stone slab is set in the floor. An evil force seems to emanate from within. Well, what do I do about it? Oh, look at this. This is helpful. I didn't know I could do this. It's a really good way to make sure... I explored everything. Uh... I just want to know before I leave here, am I supposed to do something right now? Like, am I supposed to... Should I be doing something with this? I can't get past it right now, okay. All right, we just go the long way out. I'm just gonna slap everything because the friggin' vampire was a joke, so... What do I care about his underlings? Just beat him up. No, I don't have an item to teleport me out of the dungeons. I looked for one, like an escape rope. I wanted to believe it was real, but it wasn't real. I 
I did see a spell that I could learn, but I couldn't learn it yet that could get me out of a dungeon. Oh, the big stone guy. Okay. Okay. Well, he should have said something. He didn't say anything. He just said I couldn't pass. He just Gandalfed me. Guys, quit paralyzing poor Scott. He's just sitting there all paralyzed. It's not fun for anybody. Hey there. Greg, thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate it. And welcome. probably shut all the doors now, right? Yeah, so it's not really saying whether or not I've been in them. I should have checked this on every floor, but I'm pretty sure I explored all of it. Friggin' poison wolves. There's nothing worse than a poison wolf. Good job leveling up, John. You did it. This is so many snakes, you guys. There is an item, but it can't be purchased. Has to be obtained via chests. Do we know what the item is? Did I already pick it up? Okay, I definitely did all of those. Okay. You know what? I think I went to every room in this place. I'm pretty sure I did. Great, Scott, thank you for the sub. I appreciate it. Get the Hulk, get the Hulk. Uh, is this your first Final Fantasy? Uh, no, not exactly. So I have played uh, every single Final Fantasy, but I've never beaten a Final Fantasy. So I haven't played this one in ages. It's been a long time. I've definitely never been this far in this one. Um, and uh, But I've, I've never beaten a single one. So we're aiming for this one to be the first one I beat. And uh, it's all new territory to me.
Oh, is this the first Final Fantasy? Yes. I should learn to read. To be fair, I am doing other things. It's not like I can pretend that I'm not. Still loving Final Fantasy XIV? Yes, I uh, actually stopped playing it to do this stream. And there was even a part of me that was like, well, maybe. The vampire's dead, yet the earth is still decaying. What's going on? You aren't the warriors of light, are you? Restore the crystals to Grace. Who's Grace? I don't know her. Okay, I feel like we definitely need to pick up this spell. Uh, and we should probably pick up this spell. He needs it too. I'm gonna give Bo this spell just because it's a very Bo spell. Oh, nobody can cast that yet. Okay. We'll go with that. Seems good. Uh, alright. Did we sleep? We did, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go give this uh, giant his thing. You have Star Ruby? Give me Star Ruby and I let you pass. Ooh. Did he eat it? Crunch Munch. Mmm, nothing tastier than rupees. Ooh, off he goes. Oh, right through the wall. Okay, we got a door to the south of us, stairs to the north. Let's check out the door. Oh, let's check out this fight first. Lesser Tigers? Oh, jeez, that Lesser Tiger hit pretty hard. To the warrior, no less. Okay, this is a little hard to navigate. You hated the card game in 8. Uh, I remember getting very addicted to it for a while. And uh, also having a bit of a hard time with it. But uh, here's the... Here's the crazy part. Um, I've learned the card game because of Final Fantasy XIV. And I'm addicted to the card game. Oh, geez, ambushed on these tigers. These tigers hit hard. Yeah, look at that. These tigers aren't messing around. Jeez, I just can't escape tigers right now. I also think we need to have uh, somebody, probably Ben, heal Ben. Because uh, Ben's the only one that can res people right now, so... Ben, why don't you, uh... 
Why don't you Kiraga yourself here? There we go. Uh, if I had to pick a favorite right now, it would probably be 8 or 9. But, uh, I mean, it would be, it'd be 14. But if I had to pick a favorite of the single player experiences and the ones I'm going to be playing, uh, it would be 8 or 9. It's got any stuff in it? No. Dude, your house doesn't have anything I can steal. So you are the ones who defeated the vampire, eh? He was but a servant. The beast corrupting the earth crystal lurks much deeper within the cavern. Here, take this staff with you and use it behind the vampire's chamber. I got a rod. Wait a minute. So I just have to go back? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. <sighs> All right. Thank you, Tween. Tw tw I think I said that right. I appreciate it. All right, everybody. We have our mission. It's a lot like the mission we were previously on. I mean, I was going to say that vampire wasn't very hard, so, you know, like, fighting three of these cats has been harder than fighting the vampire. But I also wound up in a future town and bought a bunch of stuff that was technically bigger item upgrades than what's appearing here, so I'm probably a little overpowered. All right, well, we're gonna rest up at the town. We're gonna resupply. Cause uh, I did go through quite a few antidotes the first time through that cave. As well as high potions. So we'll, uh, we'll restock a little. Oh, is there no item shop here? I thought there was an item shop. There's no item shop. Bjorn M, thank you so much for the sub. Appreciate it. Have you played Magic the Gathering? No, I have never I've never played it. Alright, we've leveled we've not leveled, we've slept. All right, here we go. Eye of the tiger, everybody. Eye of the tiger. Nobody get poisoned. I have very limited ways of dealing with it. And we apparently have to get through the whole dungeon again. I feel like somebody was like, we need to make our game longer. Well, what if we had him leave the dungeon after going all the way through it and then come back and have to do it again? And then somebody was like, that's brilliant. 
We've done it. More Blizzard team left. Are you talking about the Diablo people that was from yesterday or is this a today thing? in the like lower right of the map yeah I keep checking this map because I don't you know let's minimize the damage here any tips for new Final Fantasy uh, 14 player uh, yeah yeah uh, don't rush would be my I think is the best tip I can give. Um, it's hard because, you know, I think in a lot of people in the back of their mind, the new expansion is coming out later this year and uh, they kind of want to hurry and there's so much main story to get through. Um, but my advice is, you know, focus on the main story quest, focus on the job quests. Uh, for whatever role you're playing and focus on that to begin with. You don't have to do side quests. You don't have to do any of the other stuff um, and just enjoy your experience. But don't be don't be in a rush to get to the end content is the about the best advice I can give with it. Where's the exit? Oh, there isn't an exit. It's up and around and inside. Um, but in, enjoy. I mean, you know, a, a lot gets said about the A Realm Reborn stuff. I think it's really good, but that's because I now have the benefit of hindsight and I see it for the world building and character development that it is. And it's very hard to see that in the moment. So everybody will tell you like, oh, it's not that bad. It's good. But it's paced weird. A Realm Reborn has very weird pacing, very inconsistent pacing. And so it takes time to get into. But enjoy it. Know that it all builds to stuff. And uh, do whatever you enjoy in the game also. I, I think that there's a lot of people who are fans of Final Fantasy XIV that will tell you that there is a right way and a wrong way to play. And at the end of the day, I think the most important thing is that you just, whatever you do, uh, you just enjoy, you enjoy it. Skipped a bunch of story, have no idea what's going on. Yep, yeah, it can be a problem. Like, I mean, there's people out there that will tell you, like, oh, no, you can skip right to Shadowbringers. Shadowbringers is a real self-contained story, and it sort of is, but, like, so much of what makes that story good is the growth and development. And I, I find it a little ironic, too, coming from, um, you know, I've heard some people that care very much about WoW's story talk about it. Oh boy, this isn't going well because everybody got all paralyzed. Uh, so many criticisms of WoW story is not earning their moments. You know, people talked about that Sylvanas cutscene where she finally betrays the Jailer. And they're like, well, that came out of nowhere. Where was her game plan and all of that? Or, you know, a Blizzard needs to tell us this in game and not rely on books and stuff like that. Well, Final Fantasy doesn't. They put it all in the game, but then you hear people say like, oh, it's just boring and it's too much. So you can't always have it both ways. So I think it's important to have that context or it's just not going to mean the same thing. 
Hindsight it wasn't a good idea. That's a good one. Leave that for a Steam review, and there's a better than average chance it will become a Dear Martha. all these treasure chests it's so good yeah don't let them paralyze you especially Scott and John because you guys are my heavy hitters for this auto attack club I've got going on yeah new game plus is good I another thing you can do uh, because I did I bought a skip it's why I'm playing a new character uh, all the way through is because I regret buying a skip, but I did it. Uh, I missed some of the patch content. Oh shit, Bo's looking cool, guys. And um, what I did, though, was I bought a skip. I didn't read what I got. <laughs> what did I get from that chest? I need to pay better attention. Oh shit, this is not good. These things are actually hitting kind of hard. We need to be careful. Okay, I got a staff. Did anyone see what I got in that one box, though? Was it anything good? Man, so many monsters. Sphinxes. I'm telling you, most of the time it's monsters. I'd be so scared to open treasure chests in this world. Oop, I went the wrong way. Mind flares, and they're all attacking John. They know, deep down they know. They know they got him once and there will be dungeons and they can do it again. Alright, where to next? Uh, so... There's nothing down... Wow, they really make this place kind of intentionally a maze. Okay, there is a door in the southwestern corner of this place. <laughs> How does monster fit into this chest? I don't understand. I'm going to eat potato. Uh, does this actually lead where I'm wanting to go? It does. Okay, good. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't wasting my time. How do I submit a Dear Martha? Uh, I mean, you can review a game on Steam and hope I find it. That's what I did. 
I didn't have the review I wanted for Final Fantasy on Steam, so I wrote it myself. For a long time, it was the, one of the higher rated uh, Final Fantasy XIV reviews, and then I felt bad that I put the diss on Elder Scrolls Online in there. Because I really only did that for Scott. I didn't think it deserved it, and I didn't think it was a good thing to include, but I didn't think anybody was going to see the review. <laughs> always monsters. I just want to make sure I get rid of that mage first. That mage is, uh, those mages can do a lot of damage to the whole party. I don't like it. Just monsters for days, really. it for chests. Now we can do the stairs. How long till you do a Final Fantasy XIV podcast? There doesn't seem to be many out there. Um, you know, uh, the fact that we're ending Azeroth Roundtable uh, next week has really made me question if I ever want to do a specialty like focused podcast ever again. I think there's a lot of Blizzard creators uh, that are in that boat where they said, you know, oh man, maybe basing a, a show around one thing isn't great. The funny thing is, is like, I can see merit to both things, right? Like if you do a general show, you run the risk that your audience is not interested in what you're talking about half the time. If it's specific, then they're at least into the thing, guaranteed. But then you run into potential problems like Blizzard, where, you know, what happens when it all goes south? Uh, so, I don't really want to do a Final Fantasy podcast. I do, in the sense that I want to talk about it, because it's kind of all I want to talk about right now. But, um... Wow, there doesn't seem to be anything in this place except the next room, so... We're just going to jet over there. But I do want to do something. Like, that's... the To say that, no, I don't want to do it is not the same as I'm not going to do anything. Oh, this could go actually really bad. Because these guys paralyze, and they end up paralyzing my good characters that can't kill them. Yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah, I, I think who you have on it matters, how much fun you're having. Ben and I want to do something together still. Um, it's just sort of figuring out what that's going to be. Who speaks to me? Oh, I probably should have saved. Ah, I didn't I didn't intend to give him a Skeletor like voice, but then it ended up being Skeletor. Uh, convenient. I am he who feeds on the power of Earth. I will not be disturbed by mortal men. I am the Lich, Fiend of Earth. Alright. Well, here's the only problem. Is that, uh... Oh boy. 
Scott's attack didn't do the kind of damage to the Lich that I was hoping it would do. Oh, I hasted and then he slowed us. Okay. Attack. Now for now, let's attack. Let's just instantly kill him. There we go. 12 damage. What a jerk. Get him, Bo. Oh, there we go. Done. The Lich Fiend of Earth is no more. Ooh. The Crystal... It glows! This is the altar of Earth from which the power of Earth flows forth. Leave? Yes. Well, that was nice of him. That's the first nice thing this game's done. Uh, okay. Ambushed. A lot of attacks. Uh, get him with the Firaga. Look at all that fire. Oh my gosh. That was 100% worth casting it. That was great. Uh, oh, it is. Look at it glow. I mean, I don't want to do that again. That was great. That looked super cool. Watch it. Oh, it's so it's so much fire. It's so big and fiery. Uh, all right, I want to be celebrated as a hero in Melmond, but I got to go to sleep first. We're very tired. You're the warriors of light, aren't ya? Restore the crystals to Grace. I did, but I still don't know who Grace is. Okay. 
I'm just a farmer. Warriors of Light, to you we owe our thanks. The Earth is returning to normal. Uh-huh. Stop by my father's shop, okay? Stop telling me what to do, okay? Am I supposed to go back and see Sada? Because nobody's really telling me what to do now. Uh, how does MP slash spells work in this? It kind of works like spell slots in D&D. Oh, here's the guy that tells me uh, to talk to the rock guy. There is nothing I, the great genius Dr. Oon, do not know. What? You've never heard of me? Inconceivable. That's it? He just brags? It's his whole purpose? The earth crystal must be shining again. He's very happy. Well, that gave me zero direction on what to do. Uh, do I need to talk to that sage guy again? Do I need to go back to that crescent town? Uh, I played it back on the original NES when I was a, a little kid. I haven't made it this far ever and I, I don't remember it very well. Uh, Alright, you know what, let's go talk to the, let's go talk to the guy again. I thought the people in Melmond would be a little happier and uh, kind of tell me what to do next, but they just are kind of chill about it, honestly. What are my thoughts on the narrative thus far? You know, it's simple. Like, it, this isn't epic writing or anything, but what I like about it is it feels like a D&D &D, uh, campaign. Like... You know, it feels like a D&D &D campaign with a lot of the stuff I like about D&D &D cut out, which sounds like it would be bad, but I don't really mean that as the insult it sounds like. It's just, you know, it's pretty standard fare. Like, the princess has been kidnapped by a knight. You have to go save her. Uh, you know, you save her. Okay, now here's your next quest. Like, I really, I really like the way it's actually formatted and presented. I kill all these things before I cast Firaga, and it's not going to be as cool of an explosion. Did you play this as a kid? Very little. I didn't own Final Fantasy, but I, uh... I had a babysitter who's, I think their son had it. And I used to play it a little bit. Mostly watch them play it. Okay, I did. Wow, this was a wasted trip. You helped in exactly zero ways, old man. You know, and this would be the spot probably in the D&D game where the DM would come in and say, you remember that so-and-so uh, said such-and-such, and you might want to check in on it to avoid us doing exactly what we're doing. But that's fine. You know, we got to figure it out.
Oh my gosh, so many of these guys. It's too many. Oh, there we go. Just get the Firaga right away. That's what we need more of. Got us a bunch of level ups, too. Okay, so the town's not being particularly helpful about what to do next. But we did go to that one place uh, that was a little early, and they said once you've uh, purified a shrine, come visit us. So maybe that's where we need to go next. Because I just don't know where else to go. So we'll try there. Uh, I don't mind help from the audience. Yeah, I'm not I'm not precious about this run through. Uh, my saying as far as like help from the Twitch uh, chat is I don't mind seeing it as long as you don't mind me not necessarily following the advice because that could always happen too. And as long as we can meet on that common ground of feel free to say it but I might not follow it and we'll all be okay with it, I'm good. This is so many creatures on the open sea. Also, I just want to point out how horrifying would it be if big eyes came out of the ocean? Like, that might be the most horrific aspect to me. Like, just a giant pair of eyes with a gooey mass behind it. Like, it's bad enough, but then, like... It's popping out of the ocean. Have I looked up giant squids? Not not today. Crescent Lake is my next destination. Well, I got good news for everybody. <laughs> hey, y'all, we're going to the right place. Oh, the XP from those bugs is so good. It is 100% worth the antidotes I have to use almost every time after that fight. Well, it's not so much just the size of the eye, it's that it's just an eye. Like, if it's attached to something, I'm slightly more okay with it. But the idea that, like, eyes would just pop out of the ocean, float up onto the ship, and then start paralyzing me. I don't like it.
Hey, I purified one of the crystals. I'm Lucan. All right, we've already talked to all these guys. But they did say to come back when we had a crystal, which we do. Um, um, I did. Oh, I should have paid attention to what he said. I got a canoe. I don't know why I got a canoe this time, but I did. I just assume they're very pleased with my work. Okay, there. Now I can cure stone, if it happens. So, I think that's good. Oh, we gotta go to the item shop. Welcome! Okay, we... Need a lot of high potions. Get some more ethers. We're probably good on that. Uh, antidotes. Okay, maybe we went a little overboard on. We'll buy seven of them. Let's buy four more. Let's get a nice even number here. Darkness, silence, stone. We'll get six. Okay, I feel good about... I feel good about that. I feel like we did it. Okay, so this is how I canoe. I just, uh... I just touch the water and then I'm, uh, I'm canoeing. I was about to say, like, cool, you don't get attacked uh, while you're in the canoe. That's not true. Oh, shit! Hold on. These enemies are strong. Stop biting it. Shit. Sure. Why not? Okay, guys. We got... We got 
beat up by freshwater fish. Yeah, let's just kill all the enemies. That seems like a good solution. Just kill them. Holy shit, it worked! <laughs> I didn't... I didn't think it would work! <laughs> In a million years, I didn't think that would actually work! Usually when you get the spell that's like, kill everyone, it just fails all the time, and you're like, why did I invest in this spell? All right, guys, John died. He's now woefully behind on XP again. Our hero, once again, throwing himself on the sword of being behind to make everybody else feel better. It's really tragic. But perhaps what is most tragic of all is that that is where I am going to call the stream for the day. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, it's been a fun few hours getting to go through this. We're going to be doing some more this weekend for sure. Uh, let's get out here and save. Because I'm having fun. I'm actually really excited. I kind of feel like I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. We're going to be able to, to get there. But now it's very clear that I need to level up a little bit before I start taking on freshwater fish. So... Uh, we need to, you know, we need to get ready for that. That's something I need to prepare for. And that kind of preparation takes time. And uh, time waits for no one. That's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna go with today. Everybody, thank you for the subs, the follows, everything that you did today uh, means the world to me. And we will catch you later this weekend. I'll get the VODs up as soon as possible be on Twitch and YouTube. Until next time, everybody, catch you later.